What's up everybody, it's Spare with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Space Engineers Let's Build series. Um, we're back with our Shadowbound capital vessel here that we were working on pretty much since the beginning. Um, and I made a copy of my previous attempts over here, down in there. Uh, and we're going to kind of work on a couple things. One, I want to... I'm tempted to work on the hangar door down here uh, because since the episode of the reverse engineers went live, I have a better idea now of how we could go about making this a airtight hangar door now, which would be cool. Um, I might even keep it internal, maybe? No, probably not. I don't know if I can do that or not. So I'm not sure how I'm going to end up doing that, but I'll probably incorporate some of those things. Uh, now, this is something that I thought about dealing with as well, is maybe shortening the overall height of the ship. Now, there's a couple different ways I could do that. One is to snip the edge off the nose and just uh, cut out the excess stuff and bring up the lower and middle area. I could do it that way. Um, I'll probably, you know what, let me just go ahead and make a backup copy of this one and that way at some point whenever I want to play around with that I can actually um, kind of trial and error cut the hull up and see if my estimated measurements would work or not. Uh, but the main thing I want to work on is the bridge up here because this is nasty looking. Uh, did not come out how I wanted it in the last episode, but I'd worked enough on it that I didn't really have any more time to work on it. Um, and we we'll, might cut this a little bit and play around with that and then speculate and see if we want to do that over on this one. I'm not sure. Um, a couple of people have mentioned that it seemed fine, that it wasn't like overtly huge or anything like that. Um, a couple of people seemed kind of on the fence it's mainly the side paneling, I think, that makes it look kind of fat, is the, the verbiage I would use. Like, it's not really that the size proportion is wrong, it just looks a bit tall, where if we snip the nose, bring it in a little bit more, and that gives us room to cut more of the middle out and then raise this up, um, it might not look quite so fat on the, the height side. Um, a couple of people mentioned it being um, similar to a cruise ship at certain angles, which yeah, I could kind of see it actually. Um, I think that's part of what contributes to the overall height issue is that it's a bit thick. Like this. This is a lot more um, short than what I have over there. Um, and so I might have to deal with that. I definitely see that there's more of a taper here. And the way we have this one, it doesn't really taper that much in that direction. So, uh, But as for the bridge, one thing I noticed was that I actually only had like a window panel right here. But the side of the bridge is actually all metal still. Um, so I might have gone a little overboard with the windows, which might be part of the contributing factor of it looking all weird. Because one thing I noticed is the... The sketch design has a bit more of a vertical and then squared and less of this arching kind of shape. It's more of a, it goes up and then over. Um, and we don't really have that here. And I do think I'm going to, hopefully this doesn't break anything. Uh, do I have the side mirror on? I do, but I don't know if that'll cause a problem. I don't think it'll cause a problem. We're just going to roll with it. Um, one of the things that I want to do, though, is replace these with the um, the ramps and actually make more of a nose like we had before. The reason for that... Uh, actually, no. I was going to do this reversed, wasn't I? Yes. I think that's what I was going to do. Yeah, that's better. Um, we can actually probably do this from the inside, though. Or from this angle. Oh, I could attach it to the sides for now. That would work. 
Perfect. Uh, the reason I wanted to do that, though, is to add a bit more security to it, and it'll kind of frame this window in a little bit more um, so that when we merge into the rest of this, it doesn't end up causing any issues. Um, but yeah, I'm having a little bit of a difficulty getting the shapes to blend correctly. Um, and what I mean by that is if you look over here, there is a bit of an angle. It's not just squared. It kind of does lean in a little bit and then it squares off and kind of has that back pointed angle. Like we have an angle going this way and an angle going this way, but it kind of leans in a bit. Um, and we've got an issue here where there's two different things going on. The glass is leaning too far in, and this side panel is not leaning at all, and that's what caused this weird taper shape to become a thing. So, I'm kind of at a loss for how to properly rectify this. What I'm going to try is this, and we're going to try and do... Um, I'm just going to put a block there for now. I don't think that's really the way I want to do it in the long run, but I think that'll work for now. Okay, that's an issue too, is we're not high enough. Oh, I know. From here, we could actually incorporate the half block trick that I've seen used so often in the rest of the inspiration type episodes. We do something like this, though that does throw this off a bit. Hmm. Also, I think that might be a little... Well, I don't know. That is a bit more in line with uh, the actual concept design, I think. How we're going to do the glass for this, I, I really don't know, to be honest. Uh, the glass for this was kind of complex for me. And now it's looking like that won't work. So, this does pose a bit of an issue. And a couple of people were mentioning how the, the bridge didn't really have to be that big and stuff like that. And that's true, it doesn't. Um, I just wanted the bridge to be a bit larger. Huh. Did that, did that work? That's a little jagged. Uh, let's try... Oop, spin around the right way. Let's try like that, maybe. That's okay, I think. I'll do the same thing here. So on the inside, that could work okay. Um, and then over here... I'm thinking we're gonna do this a bit... Like, I had it backwards a little bit, and we're gonna try and do this more with a frame and then try and get the window part squared away. Um, I guess we could do this and then on the interior we can just do more slope things and that would kind of merge in okay. I'm not a big fan of this part right here having the lip that it has. It's almost like this needs to go back by one, but I don't know if that would mess with... Ah, uh, we're going to do it anyway. Because I don't like this. What I want to do is this. I will show you guys real quick. If I can find the half block. There it is. What I want to do is this. That way it keeps kind of the same shape, but we end up on the half slope or half block size stuff. What did I do? Is it over here? It's over there. Like that. There we go. That'll work better, I think. Um, now, the best way to get rid of these windows is probably just going to be to slice this all up. Oh, like that. And then just cut the object. Wait, what did I just cut out? <laughs> it said it removed something. That always makes me super nervous. When it's like, do you want to remove? Yes, and then nothing happens. I'm like, wait, what did I just remove? <laughs> but I guess it ended up okay. Um, and for this, we're going to grab here and just go up. 
like so. There we go. Uh, yeah, so then over here... And as much as I said I wanted to make this a bit more vanilla, I'm gonna do it in the wrong spot again. Um, I may, for the glass, end up having to do something else, I'm not sure. Um, okay, let's just put a placeholder block there. I don't know if I need that there or if I can change the shape up a bit. Like, for example, we... Why am I... There we go. Uh, for example, we had the... Um, Wait, no. All I need is for There we go. We had the... Oop, that's not even the right block. I wasn't paying attention, I guess. Uh, we had the corner block, or the slope block there, holding it in place before, but we didn't actually end up needing that, so... We can just do it like that. Um... This part is a little tricky in that we could do it a couple different ways. I could e either do like this. I don't know if this will work or not, to be honest. Uh, it's not looking very... I could get away with that, I guess. Um, either I would do that or we would just remove um, and put the, the standard slope right there and then just leave it. But we'll, we'll leave that there for now. That doesn't look too bad. Now for the tricky part, which is going to be the glass. The glass... I honestly don't know how we're going to do this because the shapes worked so well like this, but trying to merge these two shape designs together is going to be a pain if I have my suspicions correct. So the first thing... I don't know, it might work out a little better than I'm expecting. And then, well... No, actually, I'm probably putting the cart before the horse again. I probably should do the frame first and then do the glass part. So... That won't really work there exactly, I don't think. Well, that's not too bad, actually. So if I were to do that, that's not terrible. This back edge won't really jive very well. Um, hmm. Let's see. If I were to remove that, I don't think I have any blocks that would work there. So, one of the only ways I could spin this is to do this. It still goes against the general shape a little bit. Because it should actually round around the back. Like, um, when it gets to this point, it should actually be tapering back this way. And it's really not doing that. And I realize I'm trying to merge, like, a angle like this with this one. Like, I, I get that it's kind of screwed up, but... It's basically, like I said, the difference between 3D software and space engineers of trying to get everything to talk to each other and come out the same way. And it often doesn't like doing so. What we're going to do, though, is I'm just going to remove all of this, I think. like, um, And we're going to kind of do it over again, I think. And that way, much like the glass, we're a bit free to kind of do whatever we need to do to make it work. And not try and work with the existing shape. Um, now one option would be... Man, I don't know, because this is the main problem I've always had with these corner blocks here, is not having some kind of corner block that can merge between them type of thing. It's like you don't have any blocks that do that. You've got these, but they don't line up. You've got this kind, but it doesn't line up. You know, it only lines up on one side, so it becomes a little bit of a pain in the butt. Um, yeah, so that poses a bit of a problem. Um, let's see... We can bring this back. 
Where's this going to put us? Is this over top? Okay, it's slightly over top of the rest. Which will probably pose a problem in and of itself, because when we get over like to here, we don't really have anything that lines up with that, except, now that I'm thinking about it, we can actually put these here, or here. Okay, so we can do that. Um, now this poses a bit of a... Oh wait, nope. Got an idea. Okay, okay, okay. Ideas are, are happening. Getting, getting there. Might be onto something. Now what happens if we eliminate all of this? Where do we end up? Okay, so if I were to, I don't know, bring this back a ways, I could actually flip this, I guess, and start from here. <sighs> See, this is the problem, is it's supposed to go at an angle there. I've got too many angles, and I can't seem to get them all to connect, is basically the problem. Alright, and once again, I have realized if at first you don't succeed, try doing it a different way. Um, it's something that I don't often incorporate nearly enough. I'm actually going to cut this back a little ways as well, so that we're in line with that, and also make sure that we're not doing this down on the bottom of the ship. Okay, good. I don't think we are. Is this like in the inside of the ship at all? It shouldn't be. I think I did my math right where it wasn't going to end up being built inside the ship. I don't think that's from the bottom. Okay, I think we're alright. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't adding to the bottom of the ship because I didn't want dual bridges. Though that would be kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I think, that'll, I think that'll end up looking a lot better if we can get the uh, glass to line up correctly. So, theoretically, this is going to be the main edge. After this point, it should start tapering around towards the back point. But I realized something, and that was I was trying to actually create the angle rather than allowing the angle to create itself. And what I mean by that is, as you can see here, Rather than changing the vertical part, I'm just going to start... I'm going to try anyway. We're going to see if this works. I don't really know if it will or not. But we're basically going to try and start removing the shape. But keeping the same pattern, basically. And at a certain point, I'm going to have to... a certain point of doing this... Actually, let me see where this is going to come out. It would be right about there if I keep it this way, so I might need to go further back because I'd really like the curve point to be back here. So let's space this out a bit like so. Um, I think these actually should be these inverted ones now that I'm looking at it. This one would then have to be this guy, I guess. Ooh, then I want it f one more out. Like that. So I was kind of right the first time. Nope. Wrong block type. There we go. That's better. Alright, so if this works, that should be where that goes. So we can remove all of this and then bring this back. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Alright, cool. So now, should be able to bring it in about there. Yeah, 
I think that'll work. Um, the idea, though, for this back part is when you get around here, then th some of this curve would keep going, and then the top curve would keep going, and hopefully this makes sense to everybody and doesn't end up getting super confusing. I don't actually know if it'll work or not, so your guess is as good as mine. But we're gonna see. It's a it's a theory at least. It's something to experiment with. So we'll bring that out like that and bring this out like that. Okay. Okay. I'm thinking this could work. The um the taper is a little bit more dramatic than I wanted it to be, but I think it's one of the few ways this might actually work and not look completely ridiculous. Um though, jury's still out. We'll see. Okay. So we've got that there. Now put this one here, I think. The tricky part here is going to be at this point and keeping it going out. That part is where I'm not sure how to make this work. So I'm only going to do up to this point because I may end up adjusting this here somehow. Because um, what I'd actually would have liked for this to do is basically this keeps going by one block, but I don't know how we'd end up doing that. See, that's the problem, is this points in the wrong direction, really. It's pointing in this way. It needs to be pointing out, like, that way. Um, but, I don't know. That, um, we might have to just modify the design slightly. I'm not sure how to do this, to be honest. This part works okay, and this front part I think works really good in terms of the overall shape. It's kind of got that um, arrowhead without being too pointy, or you know, that kind of thing. Like it's got the nice long point, but then on the sides it's not quite so flattened angled. It's got a bit more of, a, of an archway. Um, but this, this back part is giving me issues. Um, I think for now I'm just going to build this in and see what I end up thinking, but I'm definitely thinking it's going to have to be modified eventually. Because I don't think that... Oh, and that's going to be a problem. Hmm. That's not going to work. Alright, well, this may have kind of sorted itself out in that if I can't get that curve spot up top to work, we're going to have bigger issues. Um, the problem here is... The problem here is that we can cover this up with, like, the, the half blocks and things up to this point. But then it kind of falls apart. Because we really need something like this. Or, for this over here, we need to do something like this. But then that creates a different shape that doesn't match. It's just, a, it's just not working. That's why I said I hate angles in this game. Because they don't give you enough blocks to make all the angles connect. Hold on. What if I did... Nope. That won't work. See, they really need like a, a a mini a mini corner block. That would work really well, actually. Um, dang, that would have worked really well. And if I were to do something like this, it works on the top part, but then it doesn't really work over on this section. So I'm kind of in a bit of a bind here. I could knock this out one and then just go one full block up and raise the whole thing, but I really don't want to do that. Um, well, actually, 
my other option is to just scrap this whole top part entirely and have it just be a bit more squared off. I wasn't my first choice, but it may end up working out a little bit better. See, the problem is the front part works really good. Um, the back part is just not working so much. I tell you what, one thing I want to play around with is, I just saw this, that I might be able to do that. We're going to leave that there, but I'm going to work on the glass, because I realize the glass actually has a lot of the same angles, so if I can figure out a way to make this work with the glass, then maybe I can make it work over here and just flip it somehow? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I know the most obvious for this is going to be this guy right here. This is the most obvious for this section. Um, actually, the more I'm looking at this, the more I might just take this top layer off now that I'm thinking about it, and I might just leave it flat because I may not have any options. Um, that might be the only way this works. Oh, and of course that doesn't line up correctly. See, this is what bog this bothers me about the way that this whole... All of the glass, all of the blocks, like they don't have any kind of uniformity between all of the different shapes. It's like everything, some of them have matching shapes, some of them have connecting shapes, some of them don't. It's really aggravating. <sighs> okay. I guess I could shorten it by one. I really wanted it to be tall enough that we could do like a first and a second floor. Though I guess I still could do that. I wanted at least two floors with a full floor in between. But if I use a small grid, I guess I could actually do that. So what we're going to do, just because it'll make things easier, is we're going to take this whole top section off. Is that still connected to anything? No. All right, we're just going to snip that whole section and bring this back by one. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And then this will... How do we do the roof then? Um, I guess we could just do a... <laughs> we're going to do a half slab and do this whole process all over again. Um, actually, it's not entirely important possible to do it that way, but you run into the same problems, I think. Hold on, I am actually curious about something. Okay, you can't really use this to merge the two. And this doesn't really work. And this doesn't have a curve. So there's no good way to kind of walk this out at an angle. Yeah, that's not going to work. I think what I'm going to have to do is this and then just place a full block set up here. Mm. Not really a fan of that either. Um, oh, 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 no, 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 no. I know what I need to do. Let's get rid of this. Um, we need the standard slopes. There we go. That's what I was missing. Okay, so we do that. Um, we can get rid of that. We can leave that. And then when we go to the glass, we can do that. And then, do I want it on this edge? Or... Where's the collision box here? So I can't put anything on the inner edge there. Let's just go ahead and do this that way. Um, and then we'll flip this. Bring that out. And then that leaves us a spot for... Which one is it? This one? No, this one. For one of these. Like that. 
Now, how do we fix this angle? See what I mean? There's just always some angle that it just can't rectify. No matter what I try, it just doesn't work. And it's all because they don't have enough blocks. They just have a lot of these stupid... Um... Yeah. Words. Is that the right tint? Is tint, the tint facing out on that one? Yeah, I guess it is. So I can do that, but then when I get back over here, this won't work. I don't think. Because the angle's too steep. Dang nabbit. The rest of the structure works really well. I just, I'm going to have to add some modded glass or something to make these shapes end up working along with the ramps just because of the stupid... There's not enough connecting blocks. They do like ramps, corners, inverted, done, but there's no merging between the two by ones and the one by ones, which is why a lot of the, like, um, the ramp mods and stuff are still around because they've never actually incorporated them into vanilla, which they should. Um, so again, I kind of apologize a little bit because I got kind of wrapped up in doing all of this, didn't pay attention to the clock at all. And we're still not really that much closer to fixing this. I'm going to have to use the ramp mods. It's just inevitable at this point. Otherwise, I've got to redesign this whole bridge shape thing because it's not going to work otherwise. But um, I'm definitely open to suggestions. If you guys have ideas to do this vanilla, that's fine. Otherwise, I think I'm just resigning myself to my fate um, that this one, this particular area of the ship just won't work without... Um, the ramps and some glass mods to give me some more blocks to work with but um i don't think anyways if you guys can come up with a way to do it let me know um i would definitely be open to whatever ideas you guys have also do you guys like this design better than the last one which i think is leaps and bounds better because that was pretty broken but the shape was a bit more arched and angled this has a bit more of a squared off edge and a straighter walk down um, actually, let me see real quick. Before we do wrap this up, I would need, if I put, can I do this? Can I do this here and then put, um, would it be this way? Wait, no, that's not, that's not working. This one? There we go. Uh, okay, that won't work, so I can't do a, I can't do a full ramp there. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's just, uh, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> um, well, I thought that would work, but it's just, uh, not working either. So it's really this back connection point that's not working. The rest of this, I guess I would kind of do the same way I was doing it. Like so. I kind of actually liked this version better that had more of a straighter shot, but I'd have to broaden uh, this nose part out by one, it looks like, I think, in order to make that work. Which wouldn't be too bad, I think. I'd have to move this up and then move that over if my estimations are correct but anyways let me know what you guys think in the comments uh we're gonna wrap things up here for this episode i hope you all enjoyed if you did leave a like and i will see you all next time peace